So I do have a bit of a surprise here. <laughs> oh. So this is the oh boy. 1997 <laughs> Technique Yearbook. And it's marked at a very specific page. Mm. Oh. Oh, yes. Let's see. There she is. Right there. That's right. I hope the that. camera can see it. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tea with Teachers. I'm Sina and I'm here with Professor Evelyn Wang in the Course 2 department. Hi. <laughs> Could you tell me a bit about your freshman year at MIT? At that time, Rush was like right when you started and um, I didn't feel the need to have to join a sorority or anything and mm -hmm. I felt like, okay, I can find a dorm that I would want to stay at and I picked Burton Connor. It happened such that um, I ended up living on Burton 3rd, oh, which is nice. the bomber's floor. Uh -huh. And it coincidentally also happened to be the floor that my brother lived on, who already had a reputation really? um, being a Burton 3rd bomber. So do you remember what classes you took freshman fall during past no record? I waited a long time to take biology because I've always never been a great biology person. I took that past no record because <laughs> I wanted to get it out of the way. Do the following phrases mean anything to you? DTYD, <laughs> Bebo Ergo Sum. <laughs> <laughs> Dance till you drop, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. That's the big party of uh, Patriots Day weekend. Uh -huh. And I think that's part of the culture. I mm -hmm. think that's the great thing about being at MIT. Did you ever fail or perform worse than you expected? So I, what I didn't mention was, uh, as you know, freshman year, the big exam is the freshman physics exam mm -hmm. and there's shower night with Burton third bombers you know there's always special events that happen during shower night in addition to just getting showered mm -hmm. um you know they get this blue big blue whale i don't know if this still happens i'm not so sure but <laughs> they get this big blue whale which is basically a trash dump and they fill it with water and all the girls on uh, the freshman girls go through this witch trial and anyways it becomes a very long event of shower night <laughs> And you know you're, what you're supposed to be doing is studying for yeah, your, 18, yeah. your 801 exam. And so I probably didn't study nearly as much. I didn't get as much sleep as I could have. And so I think I got like a 37 on my Fritz exam. Oh, wow. But you still <laughs> and, passed the class. Uh, I passed the class oh, okay. eventually, but my first, my first exam was awful. I would say in general, I think a lot of people are very quick at learning. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I, I don't consider myself quick at learning. Mm -hmm. I consider myself average at learning and that I need a lot more time to allow me to absorb information. Uh, where did you see yourself when you were 20? I think I just love school. Mm -hmm. I love being with friends. I could just continue learning. My parents, since we were kids, told us that we could not date until we had our PhDs. And so because of that, I just uh, was like, okay, I'll go to grad school. If you could impart any wisdom to current MIT students, or even just students in general who are in college, I guess, what would you, what would you say, what would you recommend? I think college is, about, is living the moment right it's all about kind of treasuring the the moments that you have and i think there's something very precious to be able to share things with the people that you really care about um and i think friendships are the things that are so valuable i think being able to appreciate the people and even the interactions with professors that are well known and the things they do but uh they're also people and i think that's something that's just really what makes MIT is so special too, is that the people here are amazing. And when you can build all these new friends, all these friendships along the way that really are the things that, um, that make life worth living. <laughs>